it's Black History Month and Beyonce announced that she's having twins. So I have nothing to complain about, nothing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to get on here and rant a little bit about just some of the issues that I'm having with YouTube and what I'm learning about myself through this whole process. Um, so if you want to listen to it, stay tuned. I have to do that, right? Because that's what makes a good video. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to be perfect. And I think that's one of my biggest downfalls just in life in general is living up to other people's expectations and then trying to be perfect. And I've kind of knocked down the first one. Like I don't, I no longer really try to live to anyone else's expectations, but I'm still trying to be perfect. I'm trying to craft the perfect video and I'm trying to, you know, craft the perfect title and all this. I'm trying to be perfect, but I'm not. And I felt that the only way that I could help people was if I show them that I made it. Like I'm on the other side of it and I'm not on the other side of it. Like this whole YouTube experience has shown me that I am so far from where I thought I was. And yeah, and like even this intro, like, I just, I just like, I literally just have like bullet points. I don't really have that much detail and I probably should have more detail when I'm starting, starting to make a video. But yeah, so just do it was, is, is, a, is a reoccurring theme that I've been hearing this past month or in January. And it was coming from just literally all the favorite people that I follow on YouTube from Lavender to Fatima Farmer to Beanie TV. Um, oh, I don't know how to say her name, Sadea, Sadaya Marie. Like that's just been a point that people, like people that I look up to have been saying, just do it. And it's like, I, since things weren't perfect, I didn't feel like I could do it. And I even wrote a blog post on it and still didn't take my own advice. Like I just need to do it. And that's what I'm learning, just to do it. <laughs> and being consistent, it's like, I'm consistently not doing shit, but like, I need to consistently do shit. That's such a horrible way to convey that thought, but it is what it is. And I felt like I couldn't find my voice, like, this is me. I am not perfect, I am not timid, I am not quiet, I'm loud, I'm annoying, I'm, I, I'm, I'm all these negative things that are my personality that I've accepted, but I think I feel that sometimes I need to come off as perfect. Once again, bringing this back to point one, trying to be perfect. Like, it's just like I want to come off as likable when I, and when I try to do that, I don't show my personality. And so I've been trying to find my, I'm trying to find a happy medium. Like, I want to be organic and I want to speak to you guys as if you are my friends. But, I mean, I don't speak to my friends nicely all the time. <laughs> Not that I don't speak nicely, but like, we... You know, I cuss. I say bitch, fuck, slut, that, that. Like, I... Okay, not slut. I mean, sometimes slut. But like, you know, like, I'm not like a cookie cutter person. And I've been trying to find a way to be a better me, knowing those flaws and not necessarily honing on to them, but portray myself in a way that I can look back and be proud of. I like that. Um, it's been really hard to stay motivated. <laughs> I mean, it's only been hard to stay motivated because I'm not being consistent because I don't do the work. So it's like all these things all intertwine with one another but it has been hard to stay motivated because I feel like I want to be perfect and since I know I'm not perfect it makes me not do it but it has been hard to um, stay motivated and then to find a focus like I had a plan I, okay the next point was finding a focus like that's been hard for me to do just because like when I first started just watching YouTube it was for natural hair and I've always loved natural hair. And and not even natural hair, just hair in general. Weave, braids, anything. Anything that does with anything that has to do with like the follicles growing out of your head, I love it. And 
that's why, you know, my first couple videos had to do with hair because I love it. But then I realized I'm not that great <laughs> at giving a tutorial. Like, I'm very impatient. I cut corners and I think that just has to do with just me in general but with the tutorials you have to be really detailed and I'm not that detailed i.e. why my last video was so rushed and came out ugly <laughs> but I'm still gonna show y'all because I made the video but yeah so it's just been really hard to find a focus and then stick with that focus because um because I want to do so many things but I feel like I need to perfect one thing then go to the next thing and then go to the next thing which I'm trying not to do like that's why I'm making this kind of spontaneous video but I feel like I'm just like talking out loud to you guys now but yeah so finding a focus trying to do that and then the last thing was being open and transparent and authentic and I don't know, not to say I don't know how to do that, but I don't know what is too much. Like, I, I'm in Arizona and I'm at this beautiful resort and I want to show that with you guys, but like, do you care? Do you care? <laughs> do you care? And I guess it shouldn't matter if you care or not, but like, I don't know. I just want to figure out like how much is too much, what's not enough, like, and... But then I don't want to ask because I just want to do it and see what happens. So you just had like a, a taste of what goes on in my mind and um, what my sister has to listen to every time I have a little mental breakdown. <laughs> uh, I'm awkward. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go now. Um, it's been like, ooh, the red light is blinking. Yeah, this has been like a long video, but I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for listening and so much for watching. I uh, hope I get great feedback. Hope you guys don't hate me, but if you do, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love. I don't know if I like that outro, but we're going to go with it, so.